Alright, so this arena run shows off a rhino build, a tiger rhino build. Man, I haven't done one of these in quite a while and actually made it work because it's so bad. I mean, they tried to buff rhino so that deals double damage against tier 1s, but like, when does that really ever come up? Very rarely. It's still just a terrible ability that only like kind of counters really weak summon builds. So even if they have like a strong summon build that got canned and like turkey buffs, it won't even kill those. And so, I mean, the Rhino just doesn't really have a purpose. If you want to counter summon teams, there's a lot of better units out there, like uh, uh, Hippo, I guess, and maybe Aardvark, or just like sniper teams in general, Crocs, Dolphins, that kind of stuff. So yeah, Rhino is pretty much one of the last things that you actually want to go for. Um, also, like, I didn't notice this until now, and there's a random cut right here, because apparently Screen Shake was on, and I just, I don't know. Like, have I always played with Screen Shake off? Because it was so jarring those first two rounds. I felt like the screen shake was like turned up way too high. Um, but maybe it just like reset itself and I, I didn't pay attention. As for the actual run though, I mean you can't get a rhino until tier five. So that would be turn seven if you get a early rhino or turn nine typically. So until then, I just kind of have to play the game and survive, which I mean, I guess I'm okay at it at this point. I got double early owl. Not really great synergy with another owl. Because if you have two owls, then you can sell one and then the buff will hit the other owl. Which would kind of suck. Also, so this team in general just kind of... It's not really looking good for owl board. Because I, nothing on this team is actually going to stick around. The capybara is probably the thing that would stick around the longest. But it's also from a spider pill. Which means the stats are much lower than base stats. And if I happen to find another one in the shop, it would instantly become a 3-6. And so the owl buffs are kind of wasted there. I rolled past some good units just because I wanted the capybara buff. I'm not sure if that was actually correct, because like giraffe and ox are both good. I could buy and then hope to roll into another one to get the buff. That was probably better. Um, but yeah, I also, like everything on my team is just sellable. So this beaver buff also going to get wasted. All the sell buffs are going to be wasted. That's kind of the problem if you take too many of these uh, sell units at once. Like, that's the reason I think dog and beaver go so well together. Is because you can sell the duck to buff the things in the shop. Then you can buy them and then sell the beaver to also buff those things. So you don't actually waste any stats. And things kind of work out pretty well. But yeah, that's alright. So the owl buff is uh, went to the capybara, and then a beaver buff went to the owl, but still managed to draw this round, so not looking too bad. And I'm at a total of zero wins, which means this is going till, what, at least turn 16 or something like that? And that would be great, because uh, maximum time to see uh, Tiger, Rhino in action. You don't run into a ton of summon teams anymore in Arena, or at least I don't. Maybe like you have a different experience. But um, I tried this run many, many times, and I can't tell you how many times I just, I had Tiger Rhino set up, and then I just never ran into a single summon team. And it was just very disappointing, because it loses to everything else. It is so bad against just a normal team. Because it'll trade, the ability does nothing, and then the rest of my team is super weak, because I've just invested everything into buffing this Rhino, and then I just lose. So that is pretty disappointing. Um, got early turkey, though. Uh, pretty much just a lobster. Honestly, worse than lobster. Lobster has better stats than the turkey. And since I don't have any summons, turkey doesn't do anything. But still, plus two, plus three is just overall very helpful, solid stats to just buy and then sell. I mean, it's even better than a pair if you buy sell. You just have to have the board space for it. All right, and there's a lobster. So I'm going to have both turkey and lobster on the board. Once I find this rhino, if I roll into it, we could get plus two, plus one. And then plus four, plus six for some overall just like a really good head start in the stats. Plus I bought a can, so that's very nice. Um, Looks like a, oh, a tough loss there. Lost by one HP. But that's all right. Uh, I still, I'm set up so well. And there we go. I actually found Rhino super early for once and rolled into Lemon. Just extremely lucky. Um, I have had rounds where I've just like spent 20 gourd rolling and then never found a Rhino. And I was just really sad because I would be like, I'd have triple lobster or something. Okay, so also got an early white tiger. Insane luck. I can't believe it. And then what is this team? I ran into Aardvark Dirty Rat, which like it has synergy, but you have to trade with their first unit for the Dirty Rat to spawn so that the Aardvarks get buffed. And that did not happen. So 
their team was just ruined, and my rhino was able to take care of all of them. But here we go! We got the white tiger rhino! This is perfect, because if they have, like, a strong unit with melon in the front, the white tiger can also pop it. Or if they have, like, steak, uh, cheese, whatever it is, like, lionfish. There's a lot of things that this covers by having, like, a bumper or a weak unit in the front. It's generally a pretty solid strat. Um, the only problem is, this means I can't go monkey scaling. And I also can't really go moose scaling unless if I get level 2. So scaling this rhino is going to be a bit tricky. I'm just kind of hoping to run into like buy, I mean a lot of cows and stuff. Oh, oh, love to see it. Oh, it's so satisfying. And you can see it deals 24 damage to tier 1s. That level 3 horse got completely obliterated. Not that that horse is going to have 24 health. I mean, I guess if you like hit a saber tooth, but I, I don't know how that would work because then... If you'd have to like trade with something before the saber to spawn. Yeah, I don't know All right, so now at this point I'm just looking for a tiger hoping for it on the level up did not get it Hope to find it next turn maybe but level 2 white tiger. It does also buff the unit before it So this rhino is getting plus 5 plus 5 No reason to buy any rhinos And then the ox also gets a little bit of stats so you can see it's doing a little bit of work just because, like, I, I don't know, it has okay base stats, and I'm getting, honestly, really lucky with the teams that I'm running into at this point. Because you can start to see, like, you know, 40-40s or, like, 50-50s pretty soon, and just one of those pretty much ruins my team. So that would be unfortunate to run into, and the other unit's not super strong. But here, another, like, bit of a weak team, and oh my god. It's so good. It deals 24 damage because of the Tiger Rhino. 12 from the Tiger, 12 from the Rhino. That's a total of 24. That's 12 times 2. Uh, that's what makes me good at Super Auto Pets, being able to do simple math like that. Alright, so another cow, plus 2 plus 4 for 2 gold. Extremely efficient. Pretty much, uh, yeah, I don't know. It's going to be hard to scale this thing. Maybe like uh, chicken leg, but unfortunately it looks like I have soft ice instead of chicken leg. I have to question my decision making on that. I guess I wasn't really planning on going with this kind of scaling. Most of my previous runs had gone monkey or moose. And, oh yeah, so satisfying. Like, it's best, most satisfying unit in the game, one of the worst units in the game. But like, the payoff is great. Love to see it. Um, but yeah, so the pineapple instead of the lemon is very risky, and I'm also, I'm buying apples on turn 14. I wouldn't recommend doing that, but I have no way to scale this rhino, so I'm just, I'm going all in. And it almost made a difference, look at that. So much damage, 14 damage from each shot, the tiger multiplies it by 2, 28 damage. If you think about, oh man, if they have a tier 1, that's 56 damage. That's like insane. That kills through a 50-50 with lemon. If it happened to be a duck or something. I would love to see that. That'd be so great. Um, I don't know why I put a chocolate on the rhino. Again, it does absolutely nothing because the white tiger buffs it in battle anyway. So minus three gold there. Look, a summon team with steak at the front. Oh, yes. I get so excited just watching the replay. Oh, it's so nice to see it actually work for once. After so many failed attempts too. I don't even want to show how many failed attempts. It was just like, it was so frustrating <laughs> to have this perfect team set up and then just instantly lose. So any improvements that I could make on this team, I guess if I wanted to, I could buy like steak or cheese for the white tiger. Um, but instead I just take a random rooster for no reason because I just wanted to fill out the squad. Although, yeah, I guess I want the rhino to do all the work. So the fly! Love to see the fly! Because just look at that. The fly absolutely destroyed their team because of the rhino. So uh, rhino hard counters fly, able to pop melon and deal just so much damage. And that's it. That's 10 wins with tiger rhino. I finally made it work again. Thanks for watching. See ya.